Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 8th through the 14th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, for this reading, I am using the Universal Tarot deck along with the Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, so wow, at the bottom of the deck, we do have death. So let's see here. Death represents great change. Something could be ending, something could be falling away, leaving your life. But if that's the case, it is just creating that space for something new to come in. Uh, if, if nothing is like falling away, Aquarius, it can be that something is changing forever. It will never be the same with death. So something's transforming. Uh, the overall energy is the page of pentacles. So for some of you, this is a financial opportunity that's coming in. So there could be some Aquarians that maybe, maybe a job is ending. So you could be leaving, you know, one position for another position for some of you. If you've had like a financial matter that's been ongoing, that could be coming to an end. Some of you, this is financial news that's coming in with the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel like it's news. For others, if a job's not ending, uh, this just might be an opportunity to make a little extra money here. Um, and so some of you are maybe making a decision here. You know, you might have something offered to you. And so some Aquarians, you need to uh, make a decision as far as, you know, you're going to accept it. Because this opportunity, even if it's small for some of you, it could lead to something bigger. So just keep that in mind. There are some Aquarians that I'm reading for that even if something small is being offered to you, it eventually could lead to something much bigger. So for some of you, I see you looking at those options here um, with the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Make sure that you're looking at everything clearly, realistically. Um, pay attention to the details. The Seven of Cups for me can be that kind of confusing, emotional, scattered sort of energy. Um, can be that confusing, illusional, delusion, illusion, confusion sort of energy, you know, going on here. So Make sure that you're looking at everything closely. Make sure that you're weighing those options, weighing the pros and cons, four of swords energy. Maybe some of you need to spend some time alone and think about this, um, but be realistic. You know, you have choices, you have options in front of you. What's a good fit? What's a good choice for you and what isn't? Um, for some of you Aquarians, we have fear. Eight of, eight of swords, so we have fear, nervous energy, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, but I feel like for some of you it's fear, so it could be fear with changing jobs, maybe some of you Aquarians need to meditate on this, you need to spend that time alone, You know, maybe even speak to someone that you trust. Maybe you need, like, someone else's input for some of you Aquarians. But the Eight of Swords can be someone who's fearing the worst, someone who's worrying unnecessarily. We have this great change that's coming in. For some of you with the Ten of Wands here, you know, this might not be the easiest. Um... And, you know, we have some pentacles here. So I, I, I do feel like for many of you, it is a change on the job front. And so, you know, this could be nervous energy with you leaving a position. Maybe you worked there for many years or worked for a company with many for many years. And so, yeah, of course, that's nerve wracking. And so some of you, maybe there's fear. But if you are an Aquarian who's been overworked with the Ten of Wands, like, you know, maybe you've been overworked, underpaid, something like that. Um, maybe some of you have had a ton on your plate with a ton of wands, a lot of different demands, responsibilities, a ton on your plate. And maybe some of you need to lighten your load. And that could be, 
you know, for some of you, why we have this change that's coming in, because maybe, maybe you need to lighten your load. So for some of you, maybe you're being guided um, towards like a new, a new job, something that's better for you. Maybe you're being inspired to look at those options. And again, even if this is something small that's coming in for you, it might lead to something much more for some of you. Um, now, other Aquarians, which I do feel like for many of you, this is on the job front, but other Aquarians, we do have a couple here. We have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. So certainly some of you could be dealing uh, with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. You might be in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. I could be reading for some Aquarians that you have Earth in your chart. Some of you are very focused on your career. Um, but I think you have a lot on your plates. For some of you, you have this change that's coming in and maybe it's not the easiest for you. With the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, it's definitely an opportunity that's coming in. Now for you couples, for those of you that, it could be on the business front. There could be an opportunity with a business partner for some of you that's coming up. Um, for others, there could be something going on here with the King and the Queen of Pentacles. For those of you that are getting into a new relationship, um, because I definitely see a few of you where maybe you're meeting someone on the job front or maybe you already, you already work with them um, or maybe they're coming into your work. For some of you, you already know this person, but this week, maybe some of you are being asked out with this Knight of Cups. Um, so for some Aquarians, maybe you're single, but you have choices in love and there could be maybe someone who's going to ask you out. For some of you, you work together or they're coming into your work. Uh, if you're not being asked out, you could be the one who's asking them out and maybe how you approach them might, you know, maybe it's a little scary for, for some of you. Um, you might be a little nervous, um, but what I see here is when you do approach them, for those of you that are planning on asking someone out, you know, maybe needing to start small, maybe needing to, you know, talk about the job, talk about, you know, just everyday matters, the weather, which that might sound lame, but really it's not, you know, um, Talk about little things. Talk about like everyday matters. Talk about the job. Talk about maybe the area, the town, whatever. Um, talk about small stuff and that could help you. And that's really for those Aquarians that, you know, maybe you're interested in someone and you're going to be, try to pursue them. Maybe you're going to ask them out, but you're a little nervous. So that could be something that helps you is maybe try to build like a friendship with them first and talk to them just about, you know, everyday stuff, everyday stuff. That could be something that, that takes the, you know, the weight off, um, that helps you out a little bit. So yeah, very interesting reading. Um, so yeah, some of you could be going from single to getting into a relationship. Others, I feel like this is definitely on the job front. Um, I think you have an opportunity that's coming in for you, but maybe you're looking at some other opportunities as well, some other choices. Uh, and there is some fear here. Um, but yeah, some of you with this Four of Swords maybe need to spend some time alone and really think about this. But let's pull you, let's pull you an additional guidance card, Aquarius. And if you're married or you're in a relationship and you just have a ton on your plate, Aquarius, this might be a week that you need to ask for help 
Some of you need to lighten this load a little bit. Ask your significant other. I could be reading for some Aquarians that maybe you're working two jobs or you're working all the time, but maybe you have a family, something like that. And so maybe some of you need to ask for help. All right, so I'm going to choose from these cards here, Aquarius. It's actually clear cognizance, Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So some of you could be blessed with this gift uh, naturally. Um, others, you know, pay attention to your thoughts here this week. Ideas, thoughts, the random thoughts that you're just that you're just having, Aquarius, because for some of you they're divinely inspired. Um, you're going to know. Basically, if something's right for you, if you should maybe change jobs, if you should, you know, take this opportunity. Some of you, this is you, you will have that knowing, that inner knowing here is what you should do. So pay attention to those thoughts. That's very important. Okay, Aquarius. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week.